Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. I've been watching Bravest Warriors on Cartoon Hangover lately. It's great. It was created by Pendleton Ward. And in the show, teenagers zip around the universe visiting star systems and planets. And here is my question. When will we do the same? Us humans in real life. I mean, we've managed to put people on the moon and land robots on asteroids and Mars and even Titan a moon of Saturn. Interplanetary travel is scary cool, but will we ever travel interstellarly? Certainly it will happen, right? I mean, Voyager 1 is expected to reach interstellar space sometime this year, or maybe in the next year or two, and it was launched way back in 1977. So shows like Bravest Warriors are pretty much just a glimpse of our future, maybe even one within our lifetimes. Right? <sighs> now there are about 81 visible stars within just 20 light years of our own sun. The nearest is Proxima Centauri, which is only 4.3 light years away. Getting there? Piece of cake. Piece of difficult cake because a light year is an incredibly long distance. It's the distance that light in a vacuum will travel in an entire year. And in just one second, light can travel so far as to circle the entire equator of Earth. Seven times. Now a fast bullet can travel at about 1500 meters per second and Voyager 1 is traveling at about 17,000 meters per second relative to the Sun. Also relative to the Sun, our Earth is orbiting at a speed of 29,800 meters per second. That's pretty fast. But the fastest man-made object ever was the Helios 2 solar probe, which traveled at a maximum speed of 70,220 meters per second. Impressive, right? Well, even at that speed, the fastest speed ever reached by any man-made object, crossing this little old gap and reaching Proxima Centauri would take 19,000 years. But technology in the future is bound to be improved, along with the maximum speeds we are able to obtain. Even using what we know now, a solar sail could easily provide the acceleration needed to reach near light speed speeds. And our current understanding of physics theoretically allows for things like wormholes, which in theory could move a spacecraft from one point in space to another faster than light normally could. And who could forget the famous Alcubierre drive, an idea that fits within most models of our universe and proposes a way to deliver a spacecraft to a distant object faster than light can get there, not by moving the spacecraft, but instead by collapsing and expanding space itself. Things like wormholes and Alcubierre drives are theoretical, but if they could one day become a reality, how far away might that day be? It matters, and figuring out exactly when in time we should begin an interstellar journey is called a weight calculation. Leave too soon, and before a ship launched today full of frozen embryos ever got to its destination, it would be passed by astronauts who left hundreds or thousands of years later at a point in time when technology was advanced enough to lap what we have today. Andrew Kennedy calculated that given the pace of our progress as far as travel velocity is concerned and Earth's mean annual economic growth, the soonest human civilization might ever reach Bernard Star, six light years away, is 1,104 years from today, which isn't within any of our lifetimes. It might also be a bit optimistic because it assumes that we not only solve the problem of speed, but that we also solve problems like how to survive interstellar radiation for years, or how to avoid collisions with interstellar material at high speeds. It also assumes that before we achieve the technology needed to successfully interstellarly travel, all of humankind isn't wiped out 
by some cataclysmic natural disaster. It may sound unlikely, but we're not talking about the near future, we're talking about thousands of years from now. Let's put it this way, even given our current slow means of space travel, it's estimated that within 5 to 50 million years, we could theoretically explore and colonize our whole galaxy. That's a lot of time though. In fact, statistically speaking, within the next 500,000 years, it's very likely that Earth will encounter a meteorite nearly a kilometer across. Hopefully, when that happens, we have the prevention abilities needed to keep ourselves safe. But given all of this information, it's easy to see why the 2008 Joint Propulsion Conference concluded that it was improbable that humans would ever explore beyond the solar system.